of that of that mayhem too. Your questions. Um, when you were a kid, what were some of your favorite bands growing up? My mom's band. She did covers, but I thought they were all her songs. <laughs> <laughs> Black Sabbath, War Pigs, my mom wrote that. Uh, <laughs> Judas Priest, got another thing coming. Another one of my mom's hits. A lot of classic rock, basically. And then heavy metal crept in pretty early because my mom's band did a couple like heavy metal songs. And it was all that imagery that tied in with like horror movies and stuff, so it made sense. But also, my dad was really into like prog rock, so I with my mom. So. But Black Sabbath, Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, Metallica is kind of, I guess, the basis for when I started playing in a band, play, started playing drums, started playing with other people. That's what we were cutting our teeth on. What about you? I, I like anything except, like, hippie mainstream type stuff. Kind of gets in my New country, don't like that. I'll tell you, I mean, I can tell you what kind of music I don't like. I, I really, because other than, like, there's only, like, because I just said it all. You know, I like everything else outside of that kind of crap over, you know. Any music that's not monetarily motivated, probably pretty good. Is this a song that's left for me? What do you guys turn to for inspiration, whether it's designing a lighter or working on a new album? Anything could be inspirational, walk around outside, just kind of, it's a non-stop barrage of, uh, Creativity, it's like do, 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 do. always going. You know what I mean? Yeah. When I'm home and it's like Saturday, Sunday, and watching with Lawrence of Arabia, like he's digging on Lawrence of Arabia uh, right now. He told me it's such day, a beautiful so. movie. Well, he really inspired he him wrote for some artwork for the new album. Yeah, and I wrote some in Middle Eastern sound and stuff, and we just got hey, you know. Well, it's cool for, for us, like when we're making a record, to have something to sort of look it's, at. It's almost telekinesis in a way. Like some stuff is premeditated at the house, but very few things. A lot of things are spontaneous in the in the room. Like like we don't we don't talk. About it with each other hardly at all. It's just it's inspiration coming out of that. Yeah. So who does the like the artwork for your albums and stuff like that? AJ Fossick, the guy that did the Hunter head. That head that's on the Hunter is a is made out of wood. So he said, hey, I'm you know I'm working on um, these Minotaur heads. You want to check them out? And I showed we you know showed the guys and everyone was like that looks amazing. So we just photographed it. But we're just big fans of art in general, you know. We want to try to work with as many different artists that we dig as possible because I mean we're all from that kind of school of uh, the album, you know, and, and the album art being so important. Plus, if we can use our musical art to connect with other artists, you know, that's just icing on the cake. Yeah.